back to another episode of the Lafons campaign. And here we are back in our Lafons campaign where we are rapidly approaching the end dates. And, you know, at this point, I think I'm going to have probably a good talk with you guys about, you know, the last phase of the Zenu French Empire. So first, let's accept the alliance offer from Portugal, because Portugal is a pretty awesome alliance. And let us go over here and crush all these rebellions in Poland, because we need to make sure Poland does not get out of our sphere, especially considering that this isn't actually a war for sphering. This is the Prussian Nationalists. And if the Prussians are we made, then I'm going to have to deal with another, an egotistical um, Germany, which I don't really want to deal with. That means they would get all this. I don't really want to deal with that. And so great news, they get that. They get that. And now more people are trying to offer me alliances. The Ottoman Empire, no. I don't like the Ottomans. <laughs> okay, and so yeah, what is our end goals? Kind of, because kind of, I just alluded to that. What are going to be our end goals, and what are going to be our kind of like... Oh, that is way too slow. Okay, three is about good. What are we kind of going to be accomplishing at the end of this year? Well, I have three th three main things I want to accomplish, or three main areas I want to talk about. And before I do that, man, I should really get this done beforehand. I'm going to uh, start increasing our administration level in our colonies over here and over here. Yeah over here because this would really help us if we could start getting um, the Irish people colonized or at least more happy that we are their rulers and what else um, I can't open any of my factories because I have a horrible government type in power but I can switch it but I don't really want to because it does give me a massive boost to my economy yeah just a massive like usually if you get lazy yeah see lazy fed 50% that's helping me a lot, so I'm just going to keep it for a little bit just because it does give me a bonus. So anyways, like I was talking about, what am I talking about like the end of the... Okay, so we have more alliance offers, proceed, proceed. So what am I talking about with this end game? Well, pretty much this is just basically what do we want to accomplish before the end of the, before the, end of the game. And the basically, like I said, there's only three areas I want to talk about. One, the one area I want to talk about, which I'm going to, I'm going to place above all else is... I want to make sure by the end of the game, we are 1-1-1. One, one, one. Oh, really? That, that's not going to succeed. Whatever, yeah. If it's on my mainland right now, that's not going to succeed. And I'm doing pretty good taxes right now. <laughs> I'm doing pretty good taxes for my people. I mean, I'm not... I mean, considering in the past how much taxes I've done, that's a pretty good... Okay, let's just, let's just go on a rampage. Okay, yeah, just keep... Crushing all these guys. I can give I can give an alliance to Persia. Persia's a pretty awesome dude. Okay, anyways, um yeah. Um I'm gonna place just like being number one, being number one everything above anything else. That way at the end of this campaign we can say no one was equivalent to the French. No one could ever best us, no one could ever do anything. I mean we've had some some runner ups like the USA and China, but they have never been able to quite overpower us. In terms of our field so you know I want to make sure that's good and Serbia Luxembourg okay Luxembourg I'll give an alliance to because they're so bad Serbia why not let's give an alliance to them too Serbia is an awesome an awesome vassal they've they've I mean they've hung they used to be our enemies but now they're our friends you know that's how I guess that's how relationships work your friends your enemies one day and then your friends the other that's how things work anyway I'm try anyways I better get down to this otherwise you know, I'll forget about it, and let me help, let me keep helping crush all these rebels. Yeah, just, you know, go right there, then go right there, then go right there. Okay, and then Poland's got the rest of them, so I then I can go retreat my men, okay? So, what I'm going to do is, like I said, the first thing I'm going to do is try to remain um, industrial, prestigious, and warfare power. Okay, so that's my main goal for the rest of this line campaign. The second main goal is basically what you guys wanted this Let's Play. So what do I mean by that is that basically what you guys want me to do, what you guys want me to like see, what you guys just wanted to do before the Let's Play ends. And specifically, um, like one of the things you guys want me to do, or at least one guy wants me to do, is um, to form Albania, which, you know, I've kind of alluded to in the past that I will do. But, you know, that's definitely going to be one of my goals. And I'll alliance with Spain. I'm not aligned with Russia. I'm still... I still have anti-Slavic, 
anti-Slavic relationships with these guys, so, no. And Germany apparently just, like, went lopsided? Why? I don't know. Okay, I'm just gonna move my troops over here. And... Okay. German restoration of, of the Hessen provinces. And Poland's actually doing pretty good in that one. Okay. No, I will not get alliance with the Ottoman Empire. <laughs> that... No. That's definitely a bad idea. Okay. Anyways. Yeah, so what you guys want me to do is just basically send in the comments what you guys want me to do for the last, like, few years we have on this beautiful game. And, you know, I'll do it. You know, flat, flatly put, I'm not really... I'm not really particularly picky about, you know, what to do. You know, if you guys tell me to try to... Um, free Ukraine, I'll try to go free Ukraine. If you want me to go try to try to take over all of Europe, well, I probably can't do that in the next 15 years. But, hey, I could give it my best shot, you know. Okay, so let's get heavy armor tanklet. So I like the idea of a tanklet. And, okay, yeah, Portugal's, I mean, Poland's dealing with their own rebellion, so I don't have to deal with that. And I think a lot of people are starting to, like, um, give us more infamy points, and that's because we, are uh, we don't have as much infamy as we usually do. Which is good, because, you know, I'm just kind of relaxed and chilling. Just, you know, it's not really, there's not really many wars going on. So, but yeah, so you guys, send in your last comments for the year, what you guys want me to do, and, you know, I'll try to accomplish it to the best of my abilities, okay? And then the third thing is, is going to be, um, if you guys don't actually send me in much, because you guys, some of you guys are probably pretty shy, I know, I know how that feels, you know, trying, it's kind of intimidating, you know, trying to talk to a big YouTuber like me, but, um, it's okay, you, you guys can do that. Anyways, what I was actually going to say, that was a side tangent, why does Jimmy think keep changing? Are they expanding? Seriously, if they're expanding, I'm really going to stop that. So, that's the last thing I'm going to do is, um, before this Let's Play ends, I want to make sure that by the end of this, Jimmy is split up. And I don't care how I do it. I don't care if I, like, conquer all of Germany or if I just individually piece out every single little little state. I'm going to make sure Germany is not a hard darkness. Spain is exploring as a major newspaper published. Oh, ha, 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 ha. Oh, that's funny. I was a nice colonist. I made sure I repented for all my colonies' crimes. But, yeah, basically, if... Oh, and then Poland won. Finally. Good job, Poland. You finally did something. You guys really should have taken the oil field, so. Did you guys take the oil? You took part of the oil, that's good. So you guys do have a little bit of oil ground. So anyways, yeah, I'm, that'll be one of, I'll just go back to my original goals in this Let's Play. And just basically see what I can do. Like, maybe I'll try to take over Germany. Maybe I'll do my Spanish invasion again. That was a cool idea. Bad never actually came to foothold. And maybe, hmm. I don't know, but maybe I'll also try to go out to China still. And, yeah, I'll get an alliance with you guys. You guys are pretty cool. And Spain, hopefully you guys will come back into my sphere. Because you guys are pretty awesome people, and I really do need you guys. Okay, but, yeah. So, yeah, that's basically the end of the year kind of strategy is those three things. I'm going to try to remain as great. Oh, come on! See, already I think that's China. There's only one pe person in this game that would actually ever be able to match my militaristic power. No, actually China's not... They're not doing too good. The United States?! What?! Okay. I have gotten lazy and have not built up many ships. Okay, so let's start building up our dreadnoughts again. Okay. It only takes 145 days for dreadnoughts to build up. That is... That is surprisingly quick. At least comparatively to what it used to be. So let's just keep making dreadnoughts. Go make them in all my main four provinces. I have no clue if I'm auto balancing this, but you know what? It should it should be fine in the end. Because this is dreadnought power. And then right here I'll build my cruiser power. Uh yeah, cruisers only takes 85 days to build, so we can build like twice as many cruisers. Okay, and I'm gonna move I'm gonna combine all these guys, move them up to over here. Combine them with those, with another shipyard, and, yeah, make sure they're not in the way, just in case. So, yeah, apparently the United States is also, is trying to gain what one up on me. Um, I'm gonna try to make sure that doesn't happen, because, as I said, I'm not, I'm not particularly fond of that happening. 
Okay, I'm gonna move these guys over to here. And we're just gonna chill. Okay, got this back again. So, work smarter because actually luxury goods at this point are more important. So, let us Oh, let us Dang it. You know, I messed... Oh man, I messed up on that. So the fears of Bosinia, whatever. That's that's not important. And holy shoot, what the heck just happened? Uh You know that is not a good sign. That's not good. So apparently Austria Hungary is it's no longer Austria anymore, it's now Austria-Hungary. So I'm wondering if, do they accept Hungarians as one of their national things? Yes, they do, in a subcategory, accept Hungarians. So that's, I guess, semi-good, but still does not help the empire out, because they do have a large, really large empire. Anyways, yeah, that is, this is not, while well, I was saying this is not necessarily good, because if, if Hungary breaks away from this alliance with Austria, then... Basically what's going to happen is the Germans are going to come in and try to take me over. Or basically the Germans are going to take care of all this land. And it's going to make it much harder for me to split them up. Okay. Apparently somebody else is Argentina. You know, I've dealt with this before. Okay, the Argentinians will be able to handle the whole rebellion. That's good. So I really did not want to deal with it. Okay, and my people are keeping my industrial score pretty, pretty well fed. That is good. Um, oh! Oh, one of the suggestions one of my fans said is, in my colonies, I should start making troops. Oh, shoot! No, I did not want to do that. Okay, and I thought that was actually a pretty good idea, so... Um... Yeah, I'm going to start making some troops in my colonies. And actually, I'll do this off-screen so you guys don't have to see it. So, um, see you guys in a little bit. Okay, back. So yeah, I just did that, and basically I recruited from all of my major colonies. I mean, where's the... There it is. I recruited from all my major colonies and built and trying to build more balanced armies. Um, this is actually the total amount. See, 34 units in total that I'm building across the board. So I'm um, hopefully that'll help like replenish my entire armies over here. Because as we know, these guys are not exactly going fast in terms of replenishing. So that's kind of like making me angry. So what I might do, just for a little bit, is keep it at maximum replenishing power. And just have them replenish like mad dogs. Because we need to make sure that these guys are at full might. Because the Germans, honestly... Uh, the Germans... Uh, I don't think there's anything I can say that have not been already said about the Germans. So, anyways, um, let's see our, let's see our government types. So what can we enact? Are there any, like, reforms we can do? No, well, what's this? And we haven't invented in expressionism, really? Huh. That's weird. Um, nope. Not the general I really care about. Look at prohibition. Um, a bourgeois. I'm wondering why I can't enact this. Okay, I'm not going to be friends with you, Ottomans. Get over it. And apparently not many people are really a angry about 10-hour workdays. I'm really happy of that. But you know what I might... Okay... Anti-minority agitation, the French fascist party has embarked on a political propaganda campaign denouncing everything that they consider to be foreign influences on France. Denounce the campaign. Seriously, no. We will not... I will not give the fascists their... the time of day for them to gain more followers. It's just not gonna happen, and... Yeah. No, I'm not going to let the fascists go, and apparently we can act a new reform. The only reform that we have available is 10-hour days, which, you know, I'm wondering, I'm wondering if the militancy in the world will go away if I just do not have control, get rid of the worst trouble, let's just get rid of the worst troublemakers, I don't even care. So, Leton, with the fear of Kiva, Egypt, relations, Polis, research complete, Bavarian research complete, we don't know why. Not really, why? Fight the disease with every means. I still believe in that. The future of music. The first selective jukebox is introduced by the automobile music indus industry. Well, that's really cool. So we have our first jukeboxes, and I'm seriously wondering what will happen if I get down to eight hour days. I wonder if that will completely, like, solve my rebel problem. Because I don't see, at that point, at this point, I've given in to the, re to the rebels and the social pressure. Because I've had to. There's really nothing I could have done. 
So I'm wondering what will happen once we get to that point. You know, will the Rebels continue or will they just back off? Revolution Monaco! Good. Austria Hungary relations. Probably not the best, because we don't we're not particularly liked by them. Okay. Who's rebellion? Who has the rebellion? So Scotland and Romania. Okay, so let uh, Romania! Really? Really? You guys don't have it under control? How? Why are you guys not building up an army? Okay, so it's almost official that I've given up on Romania. I mean, these guys, they just, they stink. They obviously weren't meant to become a country because they can't even deal with themselves. And the Scottish, I'm guessing, yeah. Holy shoot, when did I get this army? Okay, um, split up these units. Send half of them to go to Scotland and go break up this. Wait, let me get a military alliance with Scotland. Military access with Scotland. Okay, break up about half of those rebels just so it can help the... We have good news. The model colony, really? Okay, so America just got praised for the model colony. That, that's, that's not fair. <laughs> okay, but anyways, I'm gonna go help the Scotlands free themselves and... I still got... Wow, where did this army come from? I'm, I'm in shock. I don't know where this army came from, but it's really nice. So I guess what I'll do with it is... First way for the loading screen is... Um, basically what I'll do is... Um, go... Go send it to Wales and protect those colonies because... I really don't need any help in my... I, Ireland, I think, is now officially safe. <laughs> Ireland, safe? That sounds really, really funny to say on my tip of my tongue. But, no, I'm serious. Ireland, I think, is now safe, so... I don't think I'll have to deal with any more Irish people. And I'm gonna get behavioralism because... I can amass a lot of troops, and it'd be really nice to, you know, make sure that if we ever had to go to war against one more major war, we would be able to defend ourselves. Okay, get as many people as you can on these boats. Okay, so we can still, some people will remain in Ireland, that's fine. Okay, go right there, and let's have our troops be stationed there, just in case if there's any more, um, British, British to French wars, which I highly doubt that I'm ever going to lose these. And, yeah, we're crushing... We're definitely crushing military access. No, I'm sorry. I don't like you enough. And that's the honest truth, Great Britain. I don't like you guys enough as even friends to even consider it. Okay, and let's go help break the last little bit of rebel rebellions for the uh, for the Scottish. And, okay, now the Scottish are free again. And, you know, military access wouldn't necessarily hamper my union. And union is bustling. Wow. Something about the Union just makes me feel like I want to... Something about the Union just makes me want to instantly say no to them and just... I don't know, it just... It has that connotation of me just wanting to hit them. So, as we look on, um... Apparently Italy... Oh, that stinks. So Italy decided to join the, uh... Liberation of the Russians and... Um... Hmm... They aren't exactly doing the best right now, but I'm watching this unfold, and I'm kind of wondering, can Italy actually hold their ground against the uh, massive German army? Which, hmm, I'm not sure. I'm really not entirely sure. And I think some of them are fighting in my land. Oh, no, no, they're just right next to my land. So it looks like they're fighting against my land. And most of my troops are now starting to heal from all these adventures. And how are we doing on making our troops and our colonies? None of them have basically been made yet, but we have, yeah, we have enough time. I mean, okay, there's some of our troops. Okay, I'll make the new unit right here in Ezlab. Okay, and, man, Egypt, you are a pathetic country. Okay, the fascist newspaper. I believe we will, we will see a primary read by the lower class. Oh, shoot. Who do I want, who do I want to hate more? The lower class or the middle class? You know what? We've always been about... Piss, you've always been about just making the lower class mad, so let's try to make the middle class mad. Do you know what? The middle class isn't really that bad when you come down to it. And I doubt the fascists are... Holy shoot, they are gaining power. Okay. Uh, okay, so all my efforts to try to denounce the fascists are actually turning the fascists even more popular against me. That is not a good sign. And 
it seems like Italy is fighting back with all its with all it has and it's losing. And I don't know. Come in handy. Good. We got some more weapon. That's really good. I don't know if they'll be able to do it. I mean, they are advancing on the Ottomans over here, which is really a really good sign, but hmm. I don't know. The Germans have I don't think the Germans have really showed the true might. Um I don't know. I wish I could now I kind of wish I could enter this war, but I I don't know I I think it's actually the end of the episode. So everyone, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Oh, and please remember leave a comment about you guys what you want me to do at the end of this let's play, so I know and I'll try to do it. Okay, see you guys next time.